Welcome to this Diastar tutorial. Today, we will see how to connect our MyGSM system and also how to make a call from the inside to the outside. So, let's get started without further ado. Configuration of the trunk, gateway, and PBX. First, we will create a trunk to connect our PBX system to MyGSM. If you already have an existing trunk, you can create a new one by following these steps. Click on Add a trunk in the management interface. Here, you will need to provide several essential pieces of information. Host, the IP address of the GSM server. Username, the username, here for example 1000 minutes. Secret, the password associated with the SIP user. Type, PIR, for the unidirectional connection. By default, use port 5060 for the SIP connection. Context, from PSTN or from SIP depending on your configuration. Fill in these fields correctly to establish the connection between your PBX and your GSM gateway. Configuration Verification For this tutorial, I have already created a trunk with the following information. Host, the IP address of the GSM, port, 5060. Context, from PSTN. Username, Yastar. Password, 1000 minutes. Make sure all these parameters are correctly filled in. We will show you how to configure a GSM trunk on a GSM gateway to allow your PBX system Isabel to connect to the GSM network to make and receive calls. Access the GSM gateway interface. Open a web browser and enter the IP address of your GSM gateway, for example, http dots 192 68 1.1. Log into the interface using the administrative credentials. Configure the GSM trunk settings. Go to the trunk or VoIP settings section. Once connected to the interface, go to the section dedicated to trunk configuration or VoIP settings, often referred to as trunk, VoIP setting, or SCP setting. CP settings for connection with Isabel. In this section, you will need to configure the following information to connect the GSM gateway to your Isabel server. SCP server. Host. Enter the IP address or domain of your Isabel server. Typically, the SIP port is 5060 by default. Username, use the SIP username, usually set in Isabel during the trunk configuration. Password, secret, enter the SIP password that you configured in Isabel. Authentication type, choose CP registration or CP peer, depending on your configuration. Codec. In the codec section, select the codecs used by your PBX server Isabel, such as G711, ULA or Falau, G729, or GSM. Make sure that the same codecs are enabled on your Isabel server. Call routing. Configure the routing rules for incoming and outgoing calls. You can set up incoming calls to your SIM card to be directed to your PBX Isabel, and outgoing calls from the PBX will be routed through the GSM network. Save and restart. Once the settings are configured, click on Save or Apply Changes, then restart the GSM gateway for the changes to take effect. Test the connection. Once the trunk is configured, return to Isabel and check if the connection is properly established by going to the trunk section and reviewing the status of your GSM trunk. If everything is configured correctly, you should see your trunk as registered or online. You can then test by making an outgoing call via the GSM network or by receiving a call. Call routing. Now that our trunk is configured, we will move on to the routing part. To route calls from the IP network to the external GSM, we will create a routing rule. Go to the outgoing call routing section. Click on add a routing rule. Simply. Configure a prefix, for example 9 minutes, that users must dial before calling an external number. This will allow our PBX to know that the call should be routed via the GSM. Select the trunk that you have configured earlier to properly route outgoing calls. Test the calls. Our PBX will automatically remove the 9 minutes and route the call through the GSM gateway. I will show you an example by calling the number X. By dialing 9 minutes before this number, the call will be routed correctly to the outside. Creating an incoming routing rule, a boom B, 
simply click on add a root. To create a new routing rule, click on add a root. In the DI field of the numbers, enter the phone number to which the calls are intended. This number is the one that external users will dial to reach your PBX system. If you want this rule to apply to all incoming calls, you can leave this field empty. You can also set additional parameters, like such as hold music for cues or enable call recording. We will now test an external call. For example, to call an external number, you need to dial 9, followed by the number to reach. Our PBX will automatically remove the 9 minutes and route the call through the GSM gateway. I will show you an example by calling the number X. By dialing 9 minutes before this number, the call will be routed correctly to the outside. Thank you and goodbye. The largest stock of VoIP with dozens of brands. With us, you will find what fits your budget and needs. And most importantly, everything comes with a warranty on the equipment and installation.